Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm SilentRun54 and today we're going to um, have a look at the official gameplay walkthrough for the newly announced Star Wars Outlaws. Um, from, from what I've seen, this game looks absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the fact that it's an open world, the first ever um, Star Wars open world game means that it's really going to push the new gen consoles for everything they have I think um, I mean I've seen quite a few games that look beautiful on the new consoles but Ubisoft have really done their homework with this one. Um, and we're introduced to a new character called Kea Vess. And she's got a little companion called Nyx. As you can see, you can use Nyx to um, sneak around and push buttons and things like that and I'm really pleased that they went for the gunslinger aspect of the Star Wars universe and not um, the sort of lightsaber wielding one again. Um, obviously we've got Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor, we've got that series going on and that's what works best for that series. So to have a new you know, a brand new um, style. Okay, okay, we'll figure this out. That once again, you know, puts the CD sort of underworld of Star Wars on full display. So I do wonder how much of Star Wars 1138. Hey, um, has inspired Outlaws. As we know, 1138 was set in the sub-levels of Coruscant. A side of Coruscant that we that we that we've never seen, um, and that we've had we've still yet to see. But um, watching this at first, I, I have expected it being heavily inspired by Assassin's Creed. Um, I think that went pretty well, right? And there being a lot of sort of climbing and stealth involved, a lot like the new Gollum game. There's a lot of climbing and stealth and sneaking around, and I'm glad you kind of have you have the option to choose. Um, this bit, this bit of the, um, the the gameplay walkthrough looks really, really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to be playing the sort of speed of chases. And the fact that you can slow down time just to choose targets. And then D5 is the new, um, well he's a, he's a, a battle droid that's been reprogrammed, he's an assassin droid, a BX battle droid that's been reprogrammed, which again, we do see a lot of in Star Wars these days, battle droids being, um, captured and repurposed and things like that. Like K2SO from Rogue One. And this is a place called Jaunter's Hope. Again, we're going to get new places, new planets, and. Hey, Andy. You do. Which is another feature that I really love. The chance you get to jump into a starship and hop from planet to planet. 
you get to take off from the planet. There's no um, sort of game footage there. It's all in game. Um, player controlled. You take off and head into space. Head to another location. So again, the locations are varied. I've seen quite a few new locations in the Jedi series. So we're going to get even more locations with this game. And it's it's set between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi as well. So it's slap bang in the middle of the Galactic Civil War. I am hoping as well that um, Wait. that we see Hondo or Naka show up. Don't really know many of you. Given the fact that it's set in the sort of piratey syndicates, I could say you're a threat to the Empire. But I won't have to if you're smart. Outlaw. Um World of Star Wars. I'm smart enough to get myself out of trouble. You pay the tax just like everyone else. Whoa, kid. Let's just relax. And it, as you can see, that gives the option to either bribe. Um, to what to bribe? Imperial Maybe. officers. You get the choice to either bribe them or not bribe them. And I, I love how... The game transitions from footage to back to gameplay again. It just looks incredible. And I think Ubisoft said there is a, a GTA aspect to it. So now K has a wanted level. We need to leave. Yeah, no kidding. And there you go, we're about to see the um, transition into space. But I absolutely cannot wait for this game. It's not out till 2024, we don't know when in 2024. I'm hoping it's earlier rather than later. That transition. Is absolutely beautiful. Toshara orbits, so I think the planet was called Toshara or Toshal. And you head up into space and into combat with TIE fighters. I'm hoping that there's music in the game as well from the original trilogy just to. Give it a nice bit of familiarity. Let's jump. It's still cool how you can calibrate the hyperdrive and blast off. Akiva and the um, the fonts in it that are used, the graphics rem do remind me of the solo movie. And again, it, I think it'd be pretty cool if Han Solo showed up at some point, the Millennium Falcon showed up, or maybe even Lando Calrissian. So 
that's the um, the gameplay walkthrough. Um, I hope you like this little look at what's to come from Ubisoft's turn in the Star Wars universe. I can't wait for this game, I'm sure you can't wait for this game. So please hit that like button and subscribe for more updates um, as they come for Star Wars Outlaws and I'll see you in the next one.